had previously discussed an intriguing piece of research which found that seven out of 10 autism videos on TikTok are found to be misleading or had misinformation. That leaves just three out of 10 which were deemed to be reliable. So where actually can we find reliable content about autism? Well, a great place to start is with Cray. This is University College London's Autism Research Centre. If you click on their research tab or their website, you can find some research summaries. So in recent years, Cray have been making each of their research papers into more accessible language and utilising things like infographics to help make their research more accessible. This is a great place to explore some fascinating research and their research will be participatory as well, which means that the autism community is involved in the process. A second place would be Google Scholar. And yes, it does sometimes get a bad reputation, but it is still a great place to find some different ideas. And to be honest with you, quite a lot of articles that are already published in things, journals like Sage, actually do still have the articles available on Google Scholar. Now, you'll need to be wary about papers here and make sure they're clearly peer reviewed, for example, but Google Scholar can help you access more research. Thirdly, I would say message the author. They will quite possibly give you a copy for free. Now, they want their ideas to get out there and their email address is usually on the article page. So you can usually search for them online. You'll probably find an email from their current research institution. If you don't ask, you don't get, so give it a try. And fourthly, there's social media. Now, we already said, there is 30% that are reliable, so find that 30%. I would recommend you Sandy Sam, as I mentioned in the previous video. She provides a great mix of lived experience and some insight into the research too. I'll put some references and links in the description. For now though, I will leave you. Peace.